Good morning. It is Wednesday, September 17th. I'm Lauren Prisbel. And I'm Tim Ryan. Three police officers risked their own lives to save a man from his burning house. Fox 4's Dan Godwin's live in Fort Worth with more. Dan? Well, good morning, Lauren. This house is destroyed and the fire could have taken a much heavier toll, but three police officers knew what to do when they got here. We've been looking around the house and we found the window that these officers smashed out in order to reach uh, the man inside. And through the window there, we can see the wheelchair that the man was in. Let's take a look at some video from earlier. It was River Oaks police who were first on the scene. Uh, when they got here a little after 1 a.m., the house was engulfed in flames. There were four people inside initially, a man in his 60s in a wheelchair, his adult son, an 18-year-old daughter, and her nine-month-old baby. Everyone was able to get out safely except the wheelchair-bound man. His son tried to rescue him, but couldn't do it alone. Those three River Oaks police officers then, as we mentioned, smashed the window. They were able to get the man out to safety. We spoke with one of those officers a little earlier. Uh, he was thankful. He, he wanted air. Uh, he was checking on the welfare of his daughter as well. He had made it out with a small infant child just before that. Uh, but more than anything, he, he wanted air. He was complaining about the blackout and uh, he wanted some water. He, he was thankful he was out of it. The police officers were able to recover some cash that was left inside the house that the man was worried about. The wife of the wheelchair bound man passed away in December. Firefighters were able to recover her ashes. Uh, the man suffered minor smoke inhalation. He was taken to Harris Methodist Hospital. So one of the officers suffered a minor cut in his arm. He was treated and released from the hospital. Back out here live, no word yet on a cause for this fire. We may learn more after investigating get here uh, after daybreak we are getting more daylight and they'll begin their effort to find a source a cause for this fire reporting live in Fort Worth Dan Godwin on good day